So just uh, getting ready for pre-game today. So we're playing St Kilda at Marvel. Um, so yeah, gonna take you guys through what game day looks like for me, preparation. So yeah, normally I just stick to routine. and I have muesli pretty much every morning, so not gonna change now. So this is my so, side of the fridge. Um, this is my housemate's side of the fridge. I've like already like made up some veggies and stuff after the game, so that might get a, a workout. Um, but if we have a win, I might treat myself to some pizza or something. Like um, how much do you reckon this cost yesterday? This is, this Actually, I'm not going to tell you. Have a guess. Like six or seven bucks a pint. <laughs> That's almost a dollar a blueberry, but <laughs> worth it. I spent 60 bucks on blueberries yesterday. What did you do? Chuck the whole punnet in there? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Whole punnet of blueberries. Just like chucking a $10 note in there. Yeah, so this is how I start my pre-game routine every day. Love to make brekkie, come sit out here. Normally the dogs will come through. Nala, Macy, come on. Yeah, they'll come out and chill. Yeah, we've sort of prepared pretty well for the game. I feel like we're well prepared today. Uh, we've got a few changes to the team. We've got CJ back, which is pretty good. Um, obviously he's a, a fast electric player and playing at a quick depth like Marble, that's pretty important. So having him off half back to begin. Yeah, we've prepared well. We know we know how we need to play to beat St Kilda. So I played on steel a couple of times. Uh, yeah, we used to go head to head. I reckon 2017, 2018, we had some pretty pretty heated battles. So um, no, he's a good competitor. We're, we're good mates as well. So you know, but you know what you're going to get with those sort of guys. Like they crack in pretty hard, and they don't have rider. But Ron Marshall was a really good ruck. So you know, um, it's going to be. Good battle. Ben McAvoy's going to be our ruck today. Ned Reeves is done for the year, so he's uh, he slipped his shoulder out. I think it was around five too long. He did, did well to get back and play some good footy for us. But yeah, he's, they're going to wrap him up now and get him ready for next year. So it'd be good to have Big Boy in the ruck again. I've already uh, I've already laid it out for you to make it easy. But... <laughs> it's not normally this neat, trust me. Um, but yeah, pretty much just laid out what I would pack. So obviously the basic stuff, socks. I'd pack two pairs just because. Uh, I normally change at half time. Um, sometimes you get, I get blisters, so changing your socks, you don't slide around as much. Obviously, shorts, jumper. Uh, this stuff's at the ground as well, but I've got it here at home in case. But they pack stuff for you at the ground. Um, obviously, you have to wear your Hawks track suit. Um, this is a play the lanyard, so you actually don't get let in if you don't have that. Mouth guard, need that because the one time I didn't wear a mouth guard, I got my teeth knocked out. Which is No, we'd, all be, we'd all be done. Yeah, apple a day keeps the doctor away. I think that's the same. Uh, we're just going to walk the dogs um, at this river that I always go to. Um, it's pretty quiet, pretty low key sort of spot. The dogs love it. They'll walk, go for a swim and stuff. So, yeah, I, was, I walk them. Well, they probably need two walks every day because they got so much energy. But um, love taking them for a walk the day of a game. It just sort of, I don't know, it's just like really relaxing. Um, yeah, it just gets me in a good headspace. It's something I love to do, so. While listening to, um... While listening to, what have we got here? Sexy bitch, this David Guetta. <laughs> hey, that's, a, that's an absolute throwback. This is your playlist. Yeah, it is. Great track. There's like a group of guys who will always, like, go for a stroll just to get your body moving. They say, yeah, like, you're meant to do it anyway, just to, you know, if you lay in bed all day, your body's probably not gonna be ready to play footy. But yeah, there's a big uh, coffee drinking group, so there's like, it'll be about 20. I don't drink coffee, but I go along for it anyway, but I must be the only player that doesn't. I reckon it's me and Josh Ward, the only players that don't drink coffee. Not because I don't like it, I just don't know why, I just don't do it. <laughs> yeah, then I'll probably have a nap, actually. <laughs> Pre-game nap. That's necessary as well? Yeah, well, for me it is, yeah. Especially, I think on a night game, like, you'll find that pretty much, I reckon, majority of players, I'm going to say like 80, 90% have a nap because it's just such a long wait. It kills an hour of the day and then you just get a bit more energy from it. Yeah, so normally at the game, we have this thing in our, so they, they have a run sheet of basically when everything is. So we'll have like a center bounce meeting, we'll have a team meeting, we'll have a line meeting. Uh, and then there's this um, five minute block, which is called combat mindset. It's basically just like visualization, which 
a bit of a fancy word, but I think a lot of players use it. We've probably got half our team that does it, so it's more, you know, we've got our either our psych in there or one of the coaches who will be talking through, you know, a situation in the game that will be coming up and sort of trying to get yourself in that moment and how you respond so that you've sort of done it before you've actually done it. And yeah, I like to do it. I think visualization is my chest out of my skin smooth, I'm healthy. I'm in a mix and I'm handshaking, but most of y'all can't help me. Most of y'all ain't wealthy. Most of y'all just dress like it. I caught the vibe that y'all giving off and I'm trying to make myself less like it. This chick got a little Porsche body. I might let the bro test drive it. It's hard for me to get excited. I love music and stress about it. My city hauling, I'm co-signing this way.